In this presentation, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the BT521 Stop Start Digital Battery Analyzer on a 12 volt lead acid battery. Now before we start, there's some key pre-checks that we need to perform on the battery before we do the test. The first is to check for any physical damage to the cover or case, and we're looking for cracks or leaks. We also need to check the battery terminals for impact, and any built up corrosion needs to be removed. And lastly, we need to check the electrolyte levels in the battery. For sealed maintenance free batteries, we can check the water indicator located on top of the battery. The good thing about the water indicator, it'll give us a snapshot of the battery's condition. If it's charged and ready to test, if it's flat and needs to be recharged, or if it's low on electrolyte levels and it needs to be replaced. For maintainable types, we can remove the vent plugs to identify the fluid levels and if required, top up with distilled water. In this demonstration, I'm going to test a regular flooded battery. We first need to connect the tester to the battery. Grab the positive or red lead and connect to the positive post of the battery. Connect the negative or black lead and connect to the negative post of the battery. Once connected, the battery tester will automatically default to the stop start selection. Use the direction keys to select battery test and press enter. You're then going to be asked battery type. Select regular flooded battery and press enter. It is then going to come up with select rating. In Australia, batteries are rated at CCA or cold cranking amps. The classification or rating for CCA is SAE. Select SAE and press enter. You're then going to be asked to put the capacity or CCA rating of the battery. Use the direction keys to set the CCA and press enter. The battery tester will now analyse the battery and give you a result. There are five result messages that may display. Good and pass. Good and recharge. Recharge and retest. Bad and replace. And bad sell and replace. Once the battery test is complete, you then have the option to print out if required, or you can disconnect the tester from the battery and the test is complete. In this demonstration, I'm going to test an idle stop start enhanced flooded battery. We first need to connect the tester to the battery. Connect the positive or red lead to the positive battery post and connect the negative or the black lead to the negative battery post. Once connected to the battery, the tester will automatically default to the stop start selection display. This is the correct setting for an enhanced flooded battery. Press enter. The battery type selection will now display. Using the direction keys, you can choose EFB or AGM flat plate. Select EFB and press the enter key. The select rating will now display. In Australia, batteries are rated at CCA or cold cranking amps. This rating is classified under SAE. Select SAE and press enter. You'll now be asked to set the capacity or CCA of the battery. Select the battery's capacity using the direction keys The tester will now analyse the battery condition and give you a result. There are five result messages that may display. Good and pass. Good and recharge. Recharge and retest. Bad and replace. Bad sell and replace. Once the battery test is complete, you now have the option to print out the result or end the test by removing the leads from the battery. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how using the stop start selection setting on a regular flooded battery will give you an incorrect reading. I'm going to test the battery on the correct setting to start with 
followed by the stop start selection. Select battery test, press enter, battery type, select regular flooded, select rating, SAE, set capacity, 330 CCA, testing. Good and pass, 321 CCA. Now I'm going to repeat the test using the stop start setting. Stop start test. Battery type, EFB. Select rating, SAE. Set capacity, 330 CCA. Testing. The battery now says bad and replace at 258 CCA. As you can see there, there's a 70 CCA variance between using the correct regular flooded setting and the ISS EFB setting. It is so important when you're testing regular flooded batteries to use the correct setting to get the right result. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you by using the threaded terminals on a marine battery that will give you an incorrect reading. Now to start with, I'm going to demonstrate using the lead post and then I'll show you what happens when you use the threaded terminals. So, battery test, press enter, select battery type, regular flooded, select the rating, so it's SAE, set capacity, so this battery is 580 cca. Now testing, good and pass, 650 cca. Now we're gonna test the battery on the threaded inserts. Battery test, press enter. Battery type, regular flooded. Select rating, so it's SAE. Select the capacity is 580 cca, press enter, and testing. Bad and replace, 269 cca. As you can see, there was a 400 cca variance between using the lead posts and the threaded terminals. Always use the lead posts when testing marine batteries. 